welcome back to another video and welcome to cooking with chia i have not done a cooking or baking video in so long i think literally since like halloween time maybe christmas have i done one since christmas yeah i think i did one at christmas if not it was halloween but i really really fancied just doing a little bit of cooking on my channel because you know, I'm not a good cook um, and practice makes perfect. So I thought, let's just give it a go. And I'm going to be making the viral TikTok pasta. One thing that you guys should know about me is that I'm always late to like TikTok trends, YouTube trends, anything like that. Just because I don't even know. Like, I'm not even a bit of a granny. I just always happen to be late to trends. And I'm very, very late to this TikTok pasta or People call it like baked feta pasta, baked feta and tomato. For this video, we're just going to call it the viral TikTok pasta because that is where it made its mark. And I'm so excited. I have all of my ingredients here. I'll show you what I've got. Um, but yeah, it's basically just like a baked feta and tomato and basil and garlic pasta all shoved into the oven. And I'm really excited to make it because I love pasta. I literally eat pasta all the time. I'm just gonna show you what ingredients I've got. So obviously I've got some pasta. I went for conchilio or shells, whatever you wanna call it. Just have any pasta that you want. It says you can use fusilli, penne, whatever. So I just went for shells as we call them. I've got two packs of cherry tomatoes, some basil, the feta obviously, and then two little um bowls of garlic i think you're only gonna need like one clove but they sold it like this so yeah that is what we've got i've got the recipe on my phone and first of all it says just to preheat the oven so i'm gonna do that now the oven is on and now i need to add the feta to a baking like dish okay so you do this first see i thought you cook the pasta first but i don't think you do if you can hear weird noises, it is the oven, so please excuse that. But it says we have to put the feta into the dish, so I'm going to do that now. I assume we just put, like, the whole block of feta in. Um, I love feta cheese, so I'm really, really looking forward to this. And this is going to be my lunch, um, which I'm excited for. Because normally I just have, like, tuna and rice for lunch or just like bits but this is going to be a good lunch just put in the whole block of feta in Oop. it looks gross <laughs> i mean it tastes good but feta does not look that cute but it is in by the way i have washed my hands if anyone's wondering just because you know covid and that although it's literally just me eating this because my mom hates feta cheese um but feta I'm going to have to add the tomatoes around it. So I keep seeing people use two packs of these because I thought one would be enough, but apparently you have to use two. Tomatoes are washed, so I'm just going to put them all around the dish. Okay, yeah, you definitely need two packs um, of tomatoes. I just use cherry tomatoes. I'm going to quickly wash this pack and then put this one in as well. Fun fact, when I was younger, I literally used to eat tomatoes like you'd eat crisps. I used to sit with a, a tub of tomatoes and just eat them away. As you do. I was quite weird as a child. Tomatoes are in the dish and now I think you just use the olive oil um, from memory. I know you do garlic, chopped garlic over the feta and tomatoes, then the olive oil. Okay, so garlic. I literally love the smell of garlic. I think I'm not the only person um, to actually like the smell. That's the other bacon, by the way. I don't know how many cloves you're meant to use. I really don't know. I do like my um, food quite garlicky, so maybe I like to. But it doesn't actually say, it just says sprinkle chopped garlic over. Um, so we'll just do two because garlic is nice. You can't even get the skin off. How do people do this for a living? I will never know. I googled this the other day. Garlic actually has so many like health benefits. So get eating your garlic. I know it has a smell, but it tastes damn good. Like you know in 
Nando's, when you get the olives, you get like the actual like, garlic um, chunks. They're so good. I don't even know if you're meant to eat them. I think they're just in there for flavour, but it tastes so good. I chopped up all the garlic, so I'm going to put it into oh, the um, tray. Just sprinkle it around. I better off doing this with my hands for this of you. Even though my hands are probably a stink of garlic. But, all for the taste. The nice TikTok pasta that we're making. So how much olive oil do I put on? Two to three tablespoons, okay. I also love olive oil. You know like when you get um, in restaurants, like the balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Oh, tastes so good. We should do a quick another half because I want it all to be covered. And then it just says bake for 30 minutes or until the cheese it feels soft. This is what it's looking like so far. Just gonna put it in, I'll be one second. Oh that's perfect. Right, it's going in. Whilst the cheese and tomatoes are in the oven, I've got my boiling water and I'm just gonna pasta in, but I don't know how much pasta to use because it actually doesn't say, which is really weird, but we're just gonna wing it. Because, you know, you can actually get some nice honey in it, believe it or not. Is that enough pasta? A little bit more. What I'm going to do is, is have some today for lunch and then have some tomorrow for lunch. I'll just reheat it. Um, so that way I'm not going to waste any pasta, but that looks good. Just put a bit more water on. I just opened the oven door just to look at it. it smells so good. Like, so good. I'm so excited. Pasta is boiling away. Just let that cook. Pasta normally takes like 15 minutes, I normally give it. I just wanted to say hello. You're not being left out, do you? I'm sure he would actually sit here for like hours. He just loves being on camera, don't you? He's just fascinated with what's going on. He's never really seen me cook like this because I've got to be honest, I don't really like cooking, but this is pretty easy, so. It should be good. What are you doing? Come say hello. I think you want some lunch. Your lunch. Come on then. Oh well guys, I've just taken it out of the oven. This looks, don't mind the um, oven gloves. So good. It smells so, so good. I cannot tell you. I literally love the look of this already. Um, I have cooked my pasta and just drained it. And here is my pasta. I'm really confused because the instructions now say basically mush up all this together with a fork and then put the pasta in and then you're good to go. But with pasta, I need to like reheat it. So I don't really know what to do about that situation. What I might do is mix the pasta in with it and put it in the oven for like five more minutes or something just to heat the pasta back up. So I'm going to mush up now but this is looking so damn good um i'm really really excited i'm just gonna mush up all the feta just basically says mix the whole thing um together in like a cheesy tomato -y mush which just looks so good um it doesn't add to what actually looks quite gross but i'm sure it will taste really nice Pasta's all drained. Oh, this looks good. I've washed some basil, so I'm gonna put some of the basil leaves just in with it. Just break them all up. I'm starting to get so hungry. You know that when you can smell food and you get really hungry, that is me. Just put it on some more. Make it taste nice. I love basil. I've just moved you quickly so that I can show you what it actually looks like. Um, I've kind of just like mushed it all together. It looks, I don't know, I think it looks nice, but to some people it might look a little bit gross. But I think this looks really good. Obviously, I've got all the basil and I put a little bit of black pepper on as well. Because I put black pepper on everything. It just makes it taste so much nicer. Um, but I am going to put this in the oven for like five to ten minutes and just keep an eye on it make sure it doesn't burn or anything i'm so happy with myself i swear this is the first like cooking slash baking video i've done um where something actually looks quite good i mean i've not tasted it yet obviously but this looks pretty good and i can't wait to try oh my god i just got this out of the oven and it looks so good can you hear it 
literally bubbling away. Any ASMR lovers, you'll like this. I'm going to put it on a plate and I'm going to do the moment that we've all been waiting for. I'm going to taste it. Pasta is on the plate. Mango's behind me fast asleep. Are we ready for the taste test? I'm nervous, but I'm very excited. I want to get, like, a little bit of everything. Um, my mouth is actually watering. I'm not even joking. Right, let's get some pasta. A bit of tomato. Basil. Got Megan there. This is going to be my first bite. Ready? Mmm. Oh my god, that is so much better than what I imagined. I'm not even just saying it. That is genuinely so good. And if you're stuck with what to make for dinner or lunch, make yourself this pasta. It's so good. So I just took my mouth open. I wasn't eating, but you know, it's good. You guys need to understand how good this is. Unbelievable. And I actually can't believe that I made it. I know it's quite basic, but I'm proud of myself, you know. I'm really, really proud of myself. I am defeated. I'm officially defeated. I had the pasta. It was so good. It was so good. It literally tasted. Do I want to go as far as saying restaurant quality? Probably not restaurant quality. I mean, I'm not that good, but... It was so good, better than I thought it would be, and I now feel so stuffed, and I've got such a busy afternoon, but, you know, the pasta, it's, it's knocked me out for a few hours, I feel so full, I suppose that just is pasta in general, but that was so good, like, I can't even explain, I really, really hope that you guys try this, and if you do, let me know if I got buzz on my teeth. I would give this pasta a solid 10 out of 10. It was so good. It was cheesy. Had the tomato, the basil, the garlic, pasta. It was just so good. So I would highly recommend. I'm going to bring this video to an end now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that you enjoyed cooking with Chef Chia. That is moi. I'm now a qualified chef. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on Thursday for another video. But if you do want to see me trying out any other like viral food, drink, hack sort of things, then let me know and I would love to do some. So just let me know what ones you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to continue to watch That's So Raven on Disney+. Plus. I'm going to drink some water because I'm just so bloated and full. Um, and then I'm going to get on with some work this afternoon. But pasta was a success and i was so nervous to cook it because i'm just not a great cook but you know your gal did good if i do so so myself thank you for watching pumpkins i love you all so much i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please smash a huge thumbs up and let me know what your thoughts were let me know if you cook it and as i said i will see you on thursday for another video bye pumpkins